We're sitting in Sandcastle. <clears throat> it's a beautiful place. I just love the view. What year did you build Sandcastle? Year? Mm -hmm. uh, 1970. Has this been your yes, residence? well, I bought the property in uh, 59, I believe it was. I had it for 10 years. Huh. I uh, bought the property when the Cooper house, the Wave house, mm -hmm. Uh, was being built, and uh, the owner said to me, uh, Harry, uh, uh, Tony Trabert, the tennis player, owns the lot next door. He says, I talked him into buying it, good friend of his, but he's getting a divorce, and his wife says, sell the property, and, and he has to get rid of it right away. Mm -hmm. It's not on the market yet, but I want you to live next door because you're a surfer, I'm a surfer, and uh, we've known each other for many years at Lake Arrowhead, and they said to me, the bank said, we can't loan any money out there. Who's going to live out that far? And, I, and so I happened to luckily uh, have a friend, you might say in court, uh, that um, knew the bank president, mm -hmm. and, he's, and he said, give him the loan. $10,000, well, <laughs> big deal, you know, on a million dollars, it turned out to be a million dollar lot. <laughs> I think it was, uh, I can't remember the actress's name, but she offered me a million dollars for the lot. And that's when I thought, well, I've got to build on it.